What is going on YouTube? Joe here with Color Nation Media and welcome back for part number four of our live Pokemon showdown Little Cup session. The last episode slash part thingamajiggy was incredibly long because um, we just ended up going up against an opponent that was taking a long time to pick his moves and it was a close battle so I was taking some time to think about my moves too so we'll uh, I'm gonna try to make this a little bit shorter like closer to 10 to 15 minutes instead of 25 to 30 uh, just for one battle. Uh, anyway, if you'd like to show your support, feel free to do so by clicking that like button. That always does help out a lot. Uh, if you have any suggestions for a uh, tier you would like to see next time, feel free to put that in the comment section as well. Uh, this is a pretty cool team. I like this. Uh, Drought and Drizzle are actually legal in LC, despite not being legal anywhere else except for OU. So that's kind of strange, but that could be a Drought Vulpix, and I'm expecting that's what it's going to be. That could be Chlorophyll Sawaddle, too, because uh, I'm pretty sure it gets that. He leads off with a Teddy Ursa. I'm leading off with Sparks because I want Electrike to do some stuff. It hasn't done a whole lot so far. And that's because I've just been waiting until the end game to use it for the most part. Uh, but he doesn't have anything that is a ground type, so I can just freely Volt Switch. And that does a lot to this Teddy Ursa. That does a lot of damage. I don't know what set this is going to be other than physically attacking, but that doesn't really, that doesn't really narrow it down. At all. But either way, I'm going into Growlithe because I don't think he can do much to me. Return's not going to hurt that bad after Intimidate. Uh, oh, he's Bulk Up. That is scary. Bulk Up Teddy Ursa. I kind of want to just Roar you, but we can also just Willow you. Are you going to go for Bulk Up again? I mean, I really don't want Willow to miss, but I'm going to go for it anyway. I trust in Frank that he will connect on this Willow. And he does. So this thing is essentially neutered as he is going to get up to plus one attack and plus two defense but now we can just roar I guess or flip flare blitz might even kill combined with burn damage uh I don't know if I want to take damage on this though because I might need this later on so I'm gonna switch out into ball toy as he does go for the return and that doesn't do much so we're in a good position here and I can set up rocks which is very important is it looking at the rest of his team I don't know what ball toy could set up rocks on because Amara might just be able to kill me, and uh, Zora might just be able to kill me, or Zorua, however you want to pronounce it. I always have called it Zora, but that's just because that's just because I don't know how to pronounce anything, basically. Um, so yeah, there's not too much on this team, basically, that I would be able to set up rocks on. So I want to make sure that that is up because he has no way to get rid of it. It breaks the sturdy of the Aron. Uh, it breaks any potential Focus Sashes, and it does a lot to both Sawaddle and the Vulpix, so it's worth sacrificing tops for. Uh, I was kind of hoping I might be able to get off a hit and kill this thing, but that is not the case, as he does finish me off with a third return. And does he have any priority? I don't think he does. I feel like Ursaring would get a lot more usage if it had any decent priority. So I will go in with Sparks, and we can just fire off a... I want to go for T-Bolt, I guess. He has nothing to resist it other than Sawaddle, and we can just outspeed and kill that with a flamethrower. So, yeah, he just lets Teddy Ursa go down at this point. There's really no reason to save it because it would also die due to the rocks coming back in, and he doesn't have a Defogger uh, or a Rapid Spinner for that matter. Oh, wait, he actually has the Amara too, and that takes damage from rocks. I didn't even think about that. I always forget Amara's Ice type, and I don't know why. I always think it's just rock for some reason and it's clearly an ice type very clearly an ice type I even will go on and talk about refrigerate sometimes and still not realize that it's an ice type like only only in my semi-conscious state in the back of my mind somewhere am I realizing that it's ice type so he just sends in Sawaddle I don't know what that play was because it just gets o-code by a flamethrower so Sparks putting in some work there uh, now he's gonna go into Auron which has its sturdy broken thanks to that glorious stealth rock that's up there. And I don't know that T-Bolt will kill, so I will go for a Volt Switch. So I don't want to take whatever this thing has. Is it going to be like Head Smash? Does Auron get Head Smash? I know Laron does, and I know Agron does, but I don't know if Auron does. We might be finding out here in a second, <laughs> honestly. Uh, but I really want to save this because it outspeeds everything on his team pretty much. Yeah, he does have Head Smash. That doesn't do that much. And he's lefties are on. Okay. That is a new one. Lefties are on in LC. Lefties really just isn't that good in Little Cup. You just don't see it very often. So I'm just going to go for the vacuum wave. 
because if he was running max speed, I believe he outspeeds me since I am a negative speed nature. Vacuum Wave is four times super effective, and it's a special attack, so of course Aron's not going to take that. He's now going to go into Vulpix. This is not Drought. So... Hmm. So he's Flash Fire, which means we can't Flare Blitz you. Um, am I mistaken about Drought being legal in LC? I'm pretty sure it is. Pretty sure it's legal. Uh, so I'm just going to go into Frank, and he does go for the extra sensory, which still doesn't do that much. He doesn't show off a Life Orb, so I'm guessing this thing is Eevee Light. I'm just going to Roar you so I can get more damage via the Stealth Rex. Wait a minute! Wait a minute, he didn't take 25%. He didn't take 25%, that's Zora. He's going to go for a Nasty Plot. I knew it! I knew it, we're going to roar him out into the Amara. God. That's another thing, I always get fooled by Zoroark and Illusion. Always, every single time. I am that guy that's like, oh look, it's Dragon Dance Zorark. What what is he doing here? It just it never clicks. It never ever clicks. Um Hmm. So that's at least with Stealth Rocks up now, I should be able to should be able to tell the difference. It just kills me with an ancient power, but we did get a really, really lucky burn with that flare blitz. 10% chance we get it, and the Amara dies to it, so that's kind of cool. So now he's got the Vulpix. I'm pretty sure it is Drought. It just hasn't been on the field yet. So we'll see, uh, based on how much the Stealth Rock damage does, which Pokemon it is. Thankfully, I didn't just uh, throw my life away. <laughs> I could have. If I let that thing set up nasty plots, I could have just got swept, and that would have been bad. Uh, just kidding. I still had Vacuum Wave. So it wouldn't have been the end of the world, but yeah. So he does go back out into this, and this is the Zorua. Zora, I, I don't even know how you're supposed to pronounce that. Um, what are you really going to do to me? I feel pretty comfortable just... He's going to go into Vulpix and set up the Drought, though, so going for Rain Dance feels like a waste of a turn. I might as well just Scald for damage and get you into a range where I don't have to be taking any chances with Vacuum Wave. So I'll just go for the Scald. We get a crit. Still doesn't kill him. So he's Eevee Light. Wow, crit scald outside of the rain does nothing. 60%. So that would have only done like 45 or so. I mean, I guess that's still good damage. But anyway, he does go for the night days. So he carries the night days over the dark pulse. And we just basically sacrifice the uh, electric there because we don't need it anymore. And we can go into Dratini. And extreme speed kills this thing. So that is good stuff. I could have went into the crow gunk. And just went for a Vacuum Wave as well. It doesn't really matter. Kind of want to see Puff do some things. So that's what we will do. There's really no reason for him to switch out here. Because it's just going to be taking unnecessary damage. And he's already at plus two. So I think he just has to sack this thing and go into Vulpix. And that's what he's going to do. As the little Illusion Master dies to an extreme speed. So Vulpix will come in here and we will see what kind of set this is. I mean, Fire Blast is still probably going to hurt. And yeah, there's the Drought. Okay, I'm not crazy. I'm not... Okay, maybe I'm a little crazy, but... Yeah. So what are you going to do to me? I don't really know. I'm kind of tempted to just click Outrage. I might as well. I mean, I don't think he can kill me in one hit either, so Extreme Speed could make sense. But I'm just going to click Outrage, because I'm pretty sure that just Okos this thing. And we outspeed it too, and it just dies. Wow. The power of Puff. We're almost up to uh, 1,300 on the ladder, which is pretty decently high for LC, which has a very small ladder. Um, so we're probably within the f top two or 300 at this point on the ladder, which is, I guess, something. So he gives us a GG, and we're actually going to end things off here. I could go for another battle, but I wanted to keep this part a little bit short, considering how long the last one was. So we got one more part left to go, and we'll see if uh, we can continue on. Uh, our running streak with this team when we come back next time. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure you're leaving a like rating or a comment or whatever you would like to do, of course, and I will see you all next time. But until then, game on.